All right, so here's a little video on how to pollinate pawpaw trees, pawpaw flowers. Um, they're not going to be touched by bees, so you kind of got to do it yourself. Now here's a tree here. Now these are, this is a different cultivar than this tree here, which is what you need. You need two different cultivars. And here's a tree, <clears throat> and there's a whole bunch of flowers on here, as you can see. And some of them are kind of green color. And these are underdeveloped flowers. They're not ready yet. They're going to probably come out in the next few days, depending on the, the temperature of the weather. And here's a flower, this guy here, that's ready to go. This is a female flower. And you can see, because it's really deep purple, burgundy color, and it's real... Um, it has a lot of its integrity. It's real. It's kind of new looking. It's new and purple. Now here is a male flower. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. And you can tell it's a male because it's kind of starting to look old, like it's about to start rotting. And inside the female flower, it looks there's kind of a, a sticky, a sticky green ball in there and that's the what's what the female is going to look like and in the in the male flower inside here she just can't see it's not going to focus but inside there there's a kind of starting to focus there it's a bunch of little speckles okay so i'm going to stick my paintbrush in here try to collect the pollen i'm going to rub it around and there you go, that's the pollen right there. That yellow stuff. So it's not, not really focusing, but I was able to get some. Now I'm going to move it over here, this pollen, and I'm going to stick it into the female flower inside here and just kind of rub it around and get it stuck, get it stuck in there. And I've just pollinated and I got some more not done yet, so I'm going to go over to this tree, and I'm going to find, let's see here, this, this is a female flower that looks almost like about turned into a male, so I'm going to, I'm going to put it in this one, okay, now these flowers are smaller on this tree, which, probably means that the fruit is going to be smaller. I'll put some in here. Just kind of rub it around. And that female flower is real sticky. And the male pollen is going to stick in there real good. So I've just pollinated three flowers with just this one male flower on this tree. I'm going to get some more pollen. There's a lot of pollen in there. I mean, this, this works real good. I'm going to go back over here to this tree. And I'm going to get it in there, try to Rub that pollen in so it's going to stick on that female part. There we go. So I just got it in there. And I'll do the more. I mean, when, this, when these develop into male flowers, I'll cross-pollinate the rest of them. So it's real good to have all different kinds of cultivars, and you're going to be doing all kinds of different cross-pollination. You're going to get good fruit production and healthier trees and stuff. So here's another one. I got a little bit of pollen left. Now this this here looks like it's going to be... Uh, this is a male flower here, so this is good news. So now I'm going to get some pollen from this guy. Get some in there. Look at that. There's a ton of... There's a load of pollen on there. So now I'm going to move this over here, pollinate this fe female flower from this tree. 
it's completely cross pollinating. Now, one thing about this is you don't you don't want to do this too much to the, to these trees. They're small. These are small. They're about I don't know. This is about two two feet. So I mean, it's still a young tree. You don't want to just load it up. With, I mean, it's got all these flowers. You just don't want to. You don't want to over, you know, pollinate and stress the tree out with, you know, tons of fruit in the first few years. And this one here, I can probably do three flowers. But all the rest of them, maybe one for this year. And the next year when they grow up, I'll be able to do more. Little by little, you don't want to stress this tree, these trees out with trying to produce tons of, uh, where did I get that? Here, it's a female. I don't know if you can see that, it's not. That's a male flower, that's what the male flower is going to look like. It's real kind of gritty in there. And then this is what the female flower is going to look like. It's smooth, it's different, you see? It's sticky. The female flower is the one on the left and the male flower is the one on the right. I'm going to get some more pollen. I got some there. I'm gonna go out to my this guy over here. I'm gonna pollinate this little flower here. You just rub it in there, you just dab it in there. And that's how you do it. So um So yeah, so then what's going to happen is if the pollen took and it was successful, then in the next few weeks you're going to start seeing a cluster of fruits uh, developing in, that are going to be born from the flower. So I'll do another little update, you know, to make to see if, if it went well or not. All right.